you gotta let, if you read, oh, shit, shit. The views and opinions expressed in the show are those of the host and guests only. They do not represent the views, opinions, and beliefs of ProView Network and its sponsors. Some materials on this show may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Even as I watch that video, it still seems surreal. Uh, live in the studio with me right now, I got Speedy from the Duke City Gladiators wide receiver. How you doing? Thank you for coming on the show. How you doing? Uh, I asked you to come on the show today to, to, to kind of shed some light with me just from an athlete's perspective. When you heard the news, when you found out that, that Kobe Bryant had passed away, what went through your mind? Man, he was a big inspiration to the neighborhood. When I was young, I played for the Atlanta Celtics basketball team, AAU, with Dwight Howard and Josh Smith. And when he first came out of high school, he was sponsored by Adidas. Mm -hmm. So he sponsored our team. So everybody thought we had a chance to make it out of high school or go to college and just wanted to be somebody. So he did basically inspired the team. Like, seeing him do it made you feel like any of y'all could do it. Yeah, he inspired everybody. Where were you when you got the actual news that uh, Kobe Bryant had passed away last night? Um, I was just waking up, mm -hmm. and when I seen him on, on TNZ, I thought it was fake. And I seen it on your page. Yeah. I seen it on people's page in Atlanta and people in Florida. And I reached out to people and asked, was it true? Did they see it? And yeah. it kind of hit me sideways when I seen it on the Pro Bowl. These type of news stories are the ones that you hope, you pray they're, they're false. You pray it's not real. Uh, you want to hear that somebody made a mistake. Uh, for me, even when I got the news, I got the alert from TMZ. And TMZ is probably the only outlet that I believe. As long as I've been doing radio or even TV, that's the only one. If, if they don't post it, then I don't believe it. Once they post it, then it's legit. Uh, and it brings me back. I remember when Michael Jackson, you know, when he died, and that was going across. And everybody was reporting. First he was dead, then he was alive, then he was cardiac arrest. Yeah. But they brought him back. And then once TMZ reported that he'd actually died, that's when I was like, damn, okay, he must really be gone. Yeah. So to get this news, it was the same thing. What, what makes this so hard, and, and I don't think a lot of people got it, is I said at the beginning, you know, not only was he, of course, basketball star, 
uh, not only was he a legend, you know, in the game, but but a father. Mm -hmm. You know, that it's it's the most heart wrenching thing for me. As I got the news, I was actually laying in my bed with my daughter, yeah. and I'm holding her, and I'm and first it came across that he died, and that was sad enough. But then uh, the second report was that his daughter was in the uh, helicopter with him, mm -hmm. and it's like as a father, the, all you can, all you ever want to do in life is protect your kids. Yeah. That's period, and I, and I, I can only imagine. Is God, you know, written as it is, how those 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 final minutes played out, you know, yeah. and 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 then you know to wake up this morning and you have so many people mourning his death and, and, and mourning what you know what has happened, and then you have the the the, the haters, if you will, and, and to me they were not 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 haters of COVID, they haters of themselves. I'm yeah, sorry. That's crazy to stuff. me, anyone that can see this tragedy and what took place and think it's a good time to be negative or talk trash or bring up. You know rumors and crap that happened years ago yeah you know it's like to me you got to hate yourself for you as an athlete when you know when, when when you hear about tragedies like this and something so accidental something that there was no plan there was no you know warning what goes through your mind man it was it was crazy to me to see some of the stuff i seen like people post on facebook and like different social media youtube and yeah. the the comedian dude uh -huh. That was crazy. Yeah, yeah. So it just hit me wrong. It shook me wrong. Like, dude should have kept that to himself. Yeah. And I don't, I don't like it at all. Period. For me, and I, I made a decision. I was, I was thinking over how you know what footage and what things we want to use for this segment. And I decided I'm, I don't want. I'm not using any of the negative stuff. I'm not yeah. going to shed light on any of that crap. To me personally, uh, when when you think about you know your kids, when you think about children, period, and you think about what took place with his own daughter. I mean, he was on his way to a practice with yeah. his daughter, you know, and, and other kids, you know, what, 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 what goes through you? What, what goes, what emotions kind of come over you? Like being a coach, um, that's, that's big because a lot of the kids, they look up to you yeah. as a coach and he was giving the two kids that mm -hmm. was on there with him a ride to practice so they can, or a game yeah, yeah. so they can like get to there. Yeah. So it, it hit me, it hit home because being a coach and working with kids and the youth, it kind of, understandable and it just I don't know it just it just hurt to the core I don't uh, I, I don't even really know what to say sometimes. I think it was it was hard rich especially you know as they showed the footage of the, the the kids that were waiting for them to come to the practice you know that was the biggest thing that really just kind of hit home uh, I, I want to stay on this subject you know we got a couple other folks that's going to join us but uh, we'll continue to talk about uh, literally yesterday uh, Kobe Bryant passed away in a helicopter accident uh, along with eight other uh, victims. Uh, when we come back, we'll talk about them and we'll have a couple other folks join us. More shut up and talk after this. Hey, you gonna do this or what? You gotta do it. And keep doing it. Do it big. Hit it. Step it up. Always take the risk. Don't just watch it. Put your phone down and do it. Drip splash like the ice on the wrist. That's a call I can't miss. Do what they say you can because there are those who don't and those who do. Yes, Let's do. Mexico's premier sports bar, Stadium 66. Cheer for your favorite teams on the largest state-of-the-art TV screens. Tackle the amazing appetizers and then take on the rest of the menu. Now, for the first time ever, watch your team, bet your team. Stadium 66, your place for beer, bites, and bets. Located in the Route 66 Casino Hotel, I-40, exit 140. Lava Rock Brewing Company, conveniently located on Albuquerque's west side, just south of I-40. You can come on in, enjoy our pizza, pasta, burgers, and more by Matucci's. It's all at Lava Rock. Lava Rock Brewing Company, come on in.
Are you looking to develop your skills this season? Coach Carl Barrer and the Air Barrer program at 8 Grady Sports Performance Center provides comprehensive position training for aspiring football players at all levels. Check us out at 8gradys.com to learn more and sign up for training today. It's kind of easy when you listen to the G'd up sound. Put the G'd up sound. Put the G'd up sound. I got the sound for your ass and it's easy to see. Back this DJ, we want a G. It's kind of easy when you listen to the G'd up sound. Put the G'd up sound. Put the G'd up sound. I got the sound for your ass and it's easy to see. Back this DJ, we want a G. We are back to this set up and talk TV. As you can see, I got all the gorillas in the mess with me now. <laughs> Live in the studio right now, I got Dog Johnson. I still got Speedy hanging out with us, and of course, we got Devious as well. Uh, I want to bring them in because I want to kind of let everybody kind of chime in on on the effect that this, what's just happened has had on us. One of the things I think a lot of people don't realize, especially as you watch on social media, is you know, anytime we see a black person make it out of uh, the hood, or even if they ain't from the hood, see a black person being successful, you know, we're proud. It, get, it inspires us, makes us feel like, hey, we can do it too, especially if it's a, a sport or something that we've always wanted to do or tried to do or something that we, you know, we're, we inspired to do. So I think a lot of people didn't get that when they see some of the, as some of the negative posts came, went up and some of the people that would responded to them, I think a lot of people didn't realize why they were so upset, why some folks were talking about it's on on site. I see folks talking about when I see you, I'm punching the face and they was friends. Uh, and it's because like this it, it's more passionate. Everybody's like, oh, you didn't know Kobe. Sure, we didn't know Kobe, you know, but yet uh, everybody felt like you knew him. It's, you know, I, I put up a post yesterday and I said it's similar to when Tupac died. Never met the man, didn't know him personally, but when he died, I felt like I lost someone close to me. I felt like I lost, lost a relative because I could relate to a lot of the things that, that he did or they talked about in his music. Uh, so I think that's, that's kind of what comes with it. Before we go any further, I do want to acknowledge the other people that were also lost in the same helicopter uh, right, it was a total of nine people. Of course, we know Coco, or Coco, Kobe, excuse me, and Gigi passed away, but also John Altabelli, Carrie Altabelli, and Alyssa Altabelli. John Altabelli was a head ba uh, baseball coach at Orange Coast College in Costa Mesa. He also played for the University of Houston. His wife, Carrie, and their daughter, Alyssa, were also on board and died in the crash. Uh, Christina Mauser, Christina, Christina Mauser was a basketball coach at Harbor Day School in Newport Beach where Kobe's daughter attended school. Uh, her husband confirmed that it was, that, uh, it was her on uh, his Facebook. He said, my kids and I are devastated. We lost our beautiful wife and mom today in a helicopter crash. Uh, also, Sarah Chester and Peyton Chester. Sarah Chester and her young uh, teen daughter uh, were also aboard that same flight. Ara Z Zobayan was the pilot in Sunday's crash. FAA records show he received his commercial uh, pilot certificate in 2007. All these people, as well as Kobe and Gigi, passed away in this accident. Uh, we don't take it as a, 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 a little thing at all. I know uh, Kobe seems to be the forefront. It seems to be the main one that everyone's talking about because he was, you know, basketball star and legend, and was most known. But it's a tragedy that all nine of these lives were, were lost. Uh, I'm gonna start with uh, you, Devious. Uh, where were you, and what kind of went through your mind when you heard about this uh, tragic accident? It was crazy. I was asleep, and my daughter called me. Mm. And, you know, um, I coached my daughter all through junior high, high school. And I think a lot of things that people don't understand is when you coach, especially girls, like all those girls become like your mm -hmm. daughter. It's mm -hmm. like, it's a, it's a family thing. The biggest thing was having daughters who play ball. I love that Kobe was a champion for women's basketball. Yeah, He's done so much since he retired for women's basketball and helping women get ahead in the game. Just an, it's, it's an amazing legacy. Yeah. Aside from basketball, that man did amazing things. And for that man's life to be cut short at that age is just really sad. It hit hard. It hit on. Yeah. Uh, Dawg Johnson, what about you? I was playing 2K, drinking some coffee this morning, or, or yesterday morning. And uh, somebody came and told me I didn't believe it. You know what I'm saying, my girl. And then I had to, she came and told me again, like, it's on your brother's page. So I went and looked on your page and like, okay. And I know you get yours from TMZ, so. <laughs> Uh, it, it was crazy, man. Like me and D, you know, we grew up playing basketball on teams together and stuff. And as a basketball player, whether you were good or not, you looked up to anybody that was better than you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And tried to uh, reach out and be as close as you could to perfection to be like that person because they made it so you want to make it. Kobe, 
is close to age with me and Devious. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna throw your age out there, but you close to. <laughs> but I'm the little brother. Let's remember that. So just that's another factor. Just another young man close to my age passing away. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it just makes you want to wake up and live your dreams and do what you got to do. Talk to your kids every day if they're not at home with you or whatever. And just you know, life ain't promised to nobody, yeah. man. Really I think one of the, the the other things that you know, as people brought up, you know, they, they they want to bring up the negative things that happened, you know, years ago in Colorado and things like that. But I love I see one uh, article, you know, that they were talking about everything Kobe's legacy now. You know, we know even after he retired, is what 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 he was doing and how he was preparing, like you said, how he championed uh, women's basketball. You know, and how he was so excited about his daughter playing. You know, and how he was you know coaching her team and how he was so he he made a point. To become a better man after whatever the case was, or what after whatever happened so many years ago uh, uh, over in Colorado. So to me, that that that's what what stands out to me. You know, literally, he was on a, a helicopter on his way to a, a, his daughter's practice. Like you know, to me, that shows what his what his concern became and what what became important. His priorities became, and that's what what hurts to me as a father and as a fan is to think about. Damn, like you know. It's one thing to lose, you know, anybody. Anytime you hear about somebody dying, it's sad. But the way, you know, he went out and like, you know, uh, like my brother was saying, him being only 41 years old, so young, so much uh, life yet, just won an Oscar for a movie. I mean, Ryan, he's mm -hmm. known as, a, you know, Kobe's known as a basketball player, but was moving into the second stage of his career, if you will. Uh, it was cut short, man. It's definitely very tragic. Uh, let me know uh, real quick. Give me, tell me one uh, memory. What's one legacy? One thing you'll remember about Kobe? Give, you. Give you an idea how important Kobe was to the game. You know I'm a Warriors fan. Yeah, yeah. Kobe's last game, I had tickets to go see the Warriors win game 73 and break a record or go see Kobe play. Yeah. I went and saw Kobe play his last game because yeah. I felt like if I didn't see him play, it'd be like never getting to see Michael Jackson in yeah. concert before yeah. he passed. So no, Kobe was that important just to the world in the game of basketball. Yeah. What about you? The 81 points that he put up on Toronto. Right. Yeah. That was crazy. That was huge. What about you, dog? I mean, I can go on and name a hundred different things he did in the game of basketball, but recently I rode on a plane with uh, Doug Chrissy, mm -hmm. yeah. and he admits that Kobe caught him with a couple good ones on that fight they had in Sacramento. <laughs> so I'm going to let it be known that Kobe had hands. You know what I'm saying? There you go. There you go. Man, it's, it's, this, is, this is surreal. This is probably one of the hardest shows. This is the hardest TV show since Shut Up and Talk TV has been. This is the hardest show because it's it's so much emotion, so much things you want to say, so many things we're feeling, uh, but we want to also keep it professional uh, to a point, and, and 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 respect you know everyone that you know that lost their life. You know it's it's tragic. Uh, I I even had to I put up a post yesterday. Somebody has tagged me uh, the video and it was supposed to be the video of the crash and I put it up and literally within maybe ten seconds I, I deleted it. I was like, no, nah, I can't do that. I can't put it up and it was fake anyways. But I thought about it, it's like like one of the biggest things you got to be, you know, he leaves behind a wife and two daughters yeah. that, you know, now don't have a father, you know, don't have a husband. And it's it, I could only imagine. I remember my, when my mom passed away and, you know, or our mom and, and she was sick for many, many years, you know, over shoot, 15, 12, 15 years. So even when she passed, as much as it hurt, at least we, we somewhat knew, you know, it might come that day might come sometime. But when you're cut short in an accident like that, where there's no there's no way to prepare for it. There's no way to, to make sense of it. Uh, it's going to be probably months, if not years, before she realizes and actually clicks that he's actually gone. And my heart goes out to her, man. Uh, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll wrap up uh, our Kobe tribute on Shut Up and Talk TV. I fight TV. the world. I fight you. I fight myself. I fight God. Just tell me how many burdens left. I fight pain and hurricanes. Today I wept. I'm trying to fight back tears. Flood on my doorsteps. Life in living hell. Puddles of blood in the street. Shooters on top of the building. Government aid in relief. Hey, you going to do this or what? You gotta do it, and keep doing it. Do it big, hit it, step it up. Always take the risk, don't just watch it. Put your phone down and do it. Drip splash like the ice on the wrist. That's a call I can't miss. Do what they say you can, because there are those who don't and those who do. Let's do.
Open, New Mexico's premier sports bar, Stadium 66. Cheer for your favorite teams on the largest state-of-the-art TV screens. Tackle the amazing appetizers and then take on the rest of the menu. Now, for the first time ever, watch your team, bet your team. Stadium 66, your place for beer, bites, and bets. Located in the Route 66 Casino Hotel, I-40, exit 140. Lava Rock Brewing Company, conveniently located on Albuquerque's west side, just south of I-40. You can come on in, enjoy our pizza, pasta, burgers, and more by Matucci's. It's all at Lava Rock. Lava Rock Brewing Company, come on in. back to this set up and talk TV. We are blessed to have the opportunity to have a platform like this to be able to discuss, you know, kind of our side of things when it comes to uh, Kobe Bryant's, you know, uh, tragic passing. I think there's so many feelings and different emotions that, that have come up and continue to come up. It being so fresh, you know, barely even 24 hours ago, uh, uh, he passed away along with eight others. Uh, Divas, let me ask you, what's one thing that you always remember when it comes to Kobe Bryant? Um, I will never ball up a piece of paper and throw it in the trash can. Or shoot in the game with beer pong, and I say Kobe when I shoot. That's a fact. I've been doing it for years, and so is everybody else, and I'm sure it's gonna continue. We talked about that even, you know, off off uh, record or whatever. We're saying like literally, that's just that's that go to. You know, it's yeah, Kobe. Kobe. <laughs> Look, miss, you might brick badly, but you still throw out that Kobe. Absolutely. I mean, there's different ways to say it, but that's just something we've always said. I think it's funny because Jordan, you know, still considered you know the greatest of all time, but we don't say Jordan. We say Kobe. That's just that's something you're used to. Twenty years in the game, same team. I mean, he he earned that right. Uh, dog, what about you? First to the gym, last to leave. Mm. He's been known for that since he got in the league. Oh, I thought you were saying that was you. About <laughs> oh, yeah, you better believe it. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> what about you, Speedy? His work ethic. Yeah, yeah. He was, a, he was a good person. In the gym, on the court, he had a good work ethic. To me, I, I definitely uh, is, is the father he was. I mean, you know, I, we know about the sportsman. We know about, you know, the legend he was and became, but... To me, when he started having kids, he definitely changed. Yeah. Like you can see that even whether you knew him personally or not, you know, he made sure to make that a priority and to show that. And that's so big to me, especially, you know, uh, having my own kids. It's, it's just one thing to, you know, like be in, in behind closed doors, what you do, but to show other people, especially other black men that, hey, this, this is how you should be. This is the type of father you should be. You know, your, your kids should be put as a priority. They should be first in everything you do. You know, he was blessed to have kids that was talented, I'm sure it's a lot easier to, you know, coach your daughter if she's good yeah. as opposed to if she was bad. But uh, but, but I think that's one of the things, you know, as a father, you want to be able to do. You want to be able to continue to pour in to not just other people and other people's kids, but even to be able to pour into your own. So that that's huge, man. Uh, at the end of the day, and this is something I, I, I definitely would say to any and everybody, especially those that are still, as we speak, even before we went live tonight on social media, arguing and going at it and, you know, you have all the, the people that hate themselves enough to be speaking ill about this person that passed away. It's like, at the end of the day, a human being lost their life. You know, I don't care who, who, who you are or, or what you're going through. If you don't have a heart for that, then that's something you need to pray and talk to God about, period, point blank. Uh, end of the day, Kobe Bryant was a legend. Uh, Kobe Bryant was an amazing uh, basketball player, uh, and Kobe Bryant was, was a great father. And we lost Kobe Bryant along with his daughter and seven others. You know, we want to see all of them rest in paradise. Uh, prayers go out to the families, to his wife, to everybody, all the wives, all of the family that were affected by this tragedy. And uh, I say, everybody, just be strong, man, and, and pray for them. Pray for their families because it's a trying time, and it's only getting started. You know, it's only less than 24 hours ago it happened. So it's going to be a long road before they get back to healing. Uh, I'm LB Johnson. This is them. It's being Shut Up and Talk TV. We out. <laughs> One name. Seems like yesterday was a rock show. I laced the track, you locked the flow. 
so far from hanging on the block for dough. Notorious, they got to know that life ain't always what it seemed to be. Words can't express what you mean to me. Even though you're gone, we still a team. Through your family, I feel your dreams. In the future, can't wait to see if you open up the gates for me. Reminisce sometime. The night they took my friend. Try to black it out, but it plays again. When it's real, feelings hard to conceal. Can't imagine all the pain I feel. Give anything to hear half your breath. I know you're still living your life after death. Yeah. Mm-hmm.